12 Extreme Grocery Budget Tips With inflation on a seemingly never-ending upswing, finding ways to save money has become critically important, not just the signs of a savvy shopper. So if you're looking to budget only $25 per week for your family, be sure to stick around until the end of this video. 12. Reduce Variety and Duplicates If you're trying to feed a full house, everyone will likely have their own food opinions and favorites to have around the house. Maybe your youngest loves goldfish, but your partner loves Cheez-Its. And your teenage child won't eat anything but Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. Three similar snacks in the house add up quickly. Consider streamlining the variety where you can. This might also include pantry staples like pasta and dressings. Why bother having eight dressing options if all eight bottles sit half-used in your fridge for months or years? 11. Skip processed foods. When you buy carrot sticks or boneless, skinless chicken, Part of the price you pay is for the convenience of having the hard work done for you. Purchasing whole ingredients that take some time to break down offers a significant savings opportunity. Pound for pound, whole proteins are far more economical. As of February 2024, boneless, skinless chicken breast costs an average of $4.10 per pound. On the other hand, a whole bird was just over $1.00. 95 cents per pound. Apply the same theory to fruits and vegetables. As tantalizing as perfectly cut watermelon looks, don't get suckered into paying for someone else's labor and packaging that you likely won't reuse. 10. Cook from scratch. Cooking from scratch is another facet of our last tip of breaking down your own ingredients. Anytime you can avoid paying for someone else to process ingredients, you'll be better off financially. This tip doesn't necessarily save time, but many ways you can cook from scratch involve inactive time. Simmering fresh chicken stock with the chicken you broke down or baking fresh bread and letting your dough rise overnight all yield significant savings. 9. Inventory your food. You don't know what you have until you know what you have. Start by taking a complete inventory of your pantry. You've likely forgotten about that bag of grains collecting dust or just how many cans of soup or beans you actually have in your cabinets. Understanding your inventory will prevent you from shopping blind. You can avoid throwing duplicates of staple items into your cart simply because you didn't realize you already had them. 8. Repurpose leftovers. Leftovers are divisive. Some could eat the same leftovers for a week and be satisfied. Others crave change and can't fathom eating the same thing for multiple meals. Get creative with your leftovers. Leftover burritos or tacos that have seen better days. Grab some tortilla chips and an egg and whip up some chilaquiles for breakfast. Too much rice from that dinner the other day? Leftover rice is perfect for making fried rice. Use the internet and your own imagination for inspiration and approach leftovers as an opportunity to practice your kitchen creativity. 7. Buy in bulk Costco and Sam's Club members, rejoice! We're about to give you permission to shop in bulk. Make sure you're only getting what you need, not whatever catches your eye. Buying essential pantry staples in bulk and using the freezer to store excess will help you stretch your dollar consider ingredients like grains, beans, and canned goods. And even though you can't feed your family all groceries, buying in bulk is a great way to save on items like detergents and paper goods that don't have a shelf life. 6. Rely on plant-based proteins. Plant-based proteins aren't just for vegetarians and vegans. They're satisfying, nutritious, and cheaper than meat. We aren't talking about the meat substitutes like Beyond Meat or Impossible. Those are usually more expensive than their meat counterparts. Foods like chickpeas, tofu, tempeh, nuts, lentils, beans, and more can all be used to make a hearty meal for your family. Try some fried cauliflower tacos instead of carne asada, a black bean burger, or an earthy mushroom pasta dish as a meal that will satisfy without breaking the bank. Five. 
Avoid the snack aisles. Snack aisles are full of tantalizing temptations that practically jump off the shelves and into your cart. So do your wallet a favor and avoid the snack aisles altogether. And if you do need a bag of chips or another treat, make sure it's on your list so you can get in and get out with blinders on. Snacks are generally in your grocery store's center area and at eye-catching end caps. Behavioral marketing is at play here, trying to get you to buy these addicting treats. So come prepared with the knowledge you need to beat your instincts and cravings. 4. Lean on frozen produce. Frozen produce is often considered a last resort, something to only use when foods are out of season or unavailable in your area. But they're a powerful tool in your pantry arsenal. Frozen foods like spinach, corn, peas, and more are all picked and flash frozen at the peak of freshness. So as long as you're storing them properly, that frozen produce might taste better than what you find at the grocery store, even in peak season. It also extends the life of your produce. Fresh fruits and vegetables can be finicky when stored, making for a short shelf life. And you can't be sure how long it was sitting in a truck, plane, or boat before being unloaded into the display at your local store. Frozen options are great to have on hand when you run out of fresh produce, or the store's choices are less than stellar. 3. Plan around sales and keep your menu flexible. Menu plans are great. They help guide your shopping list and ensure that you don't add extra salty snacks or sweet treats to your cart. But they shouldn't be inflexible. If a recipe calls for walnuts, but you have almonds, no big deal. Or what if you have everything to make chicken tacos, but see that Mahi Mahi is on sale? Pivot to fish tacos. Having a plan is essential, but it also helps you understand where you can diverge from the plan. Making ingredient swaps or dish adjustments based on store sales is a great way to reduce your weekly spending. 2. Plant a garden to supplement your groceries. Gardening is a highly satisfying hobby. It gets you outside, physical and functional exercise, and the satisfaction of cultivating growth. And if you focus on growing edible plants, you can supplement your groceries with homegrown additions. You don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on raised bed framing or tons of soil, compost, and other additives. Fabric grow bags are an excellent space-saving planting method if you don't already have space available for gardening. Start with your favorite herbs. A single container of herbs may cost $2 to $5 at the grocery store. And if you use herbs daily, can result in huge savings over time. Other low-maintenance, high-yield crops include lettuces, beans, peppers, and squash. 1. Pilfer your pantries. It's one thing to understand your inventory at home. It's another to use those items instead of watching them collect cobwebs. Once you've got your baseline, figure out what you can use. Focus on the things you never use or forgot existed. It will clear up pantry space for more regularly used items. Beans and pasta are blank canvases for sauces and proteins, and all those flavored oils and vinegars would make excellent salad dressings for homegrown salads. The options are endless if you break away from strict recipe guidelines and let your pantry speak to you. If you like today's video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more money-saving tips.